Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this pop art inspired video filter effect. So to begin, I just have my clip on the timeline. I've, I'm just going to delete all the effects that are on there. So this is the clip straight out of the camera. And what we're going to do is just apply a simple process of video effects to transform it into the pop art look. So let's drop down our video effects folder. And the first one I'm going to find is called noise HLS. So this is just a, a little step that we're going to add to add some grain and texture to the photo. This is just going to help when we add our next effects. It's going to act sort of as a blurring tool, but I'll show you as we continue. So we can leave that as is for now and we'll go, we'll go back and adjust it based on the lighting and shapes and contrast in our video. So the next thing we're going to add is a Gaussian blur. And again, I'm going to drag this onto the clip after the noise. And I'm going to leave it for now. We'll adjust it after we put this next effect on. So the effect that gives us that splitting of black and white contrast is going to be the threshold effect. And notice I'm just searching the effect names here in the panel, but you can always find these under their folders. This one's under the stylized video effects folder. And if I click and drag this onto my clip, you'll immediately see it gets split from a certain level into black and white. And you can choose that level starting at zero all the way up and down. So, but depending on your shape, you might want to play up and down a little bit. Now, this is where we can go into our effects control panel. And remember, everything that we have is put in order. So if I take the noise and put it after, you'll see what a different effect we get. So that's why I did it in that order. And this is also why we waited to put the threshold on. And now we can go through and see what it might look like with a couple pixels of Gaussian blur, or maybe even just tweaking the amount of noise based on the texture that we want. So you can see the noise and the blur just kind of act as a way to get a more uniform texture or just get some different grain going on. If I didn't have either the noise or the blur, a couple pixels, this is what it would look like. This is with no noise. So it also might look good on your clip. Um, there's a little bit of JPEG and just video quality artifact problems going on there. But with the noise, it smooths out some stuff. The blur smooths out the noise a little bit. And then we can just adjust the threshold level to our taste. Now, once we have the black and white contrast split how we want it, the next thing we can do to add some color into it is add a tint effect. So this will be under the color correction folder. And I can drag this onto the video clip and it'll allow me to map the black and the white to new colors. So if I wanted, I could make the black more like a really dark purple. And if I wanted, I can make the white like a nice golden orange. So I can do something like that. But as an optional effect, you can also add a replicate effect on there, which is under the stylized video folder. So if I add that replicate effect, this will allow me to split it into double vertical and horizontal, or even three. So you can try this on a video clip of your own and see how it comes out, but this is a nice little process. You can tweak all the numbers based on your clip and see what kind of cool pop art video effect you get. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my channel for more tutorials and video effects and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.